everybody how's it going guys I'm the gaming sapphire and welcome to a tutorial video in this one I'll be showing you how to use a PS4 controller uh, to play games on your PC so you'll need to download a couple of things um, and you might be wondering why do you have the face cam well I have it so I can show you that the PS4 controller actually works and that I'm not just selling you bullcrap or anything so you'll need to download a couple of things the first one being the DS4 uh, yes the DS4 to XI input wrapper um, and all the links will be down in the description so it will take you to this site you scroll down and you can download any of these this one is the this one that I'm that my mouse is on is the basic one. I use the beta 3 because it gives a couple of features and uh, for example like you can change the LED color and you can enable the touchpad and you can um, use rumble features. So click on this one and it will the download will start directly then you will need Xbox 360 controller emulator um, download this one and you will need the libraries like um, the second link um, which um, starts with X360 CE and just click on here it will download and then um, just something uh, just for bonus go here and um, that if you want to play Minecraft with your controller and click here and it will uh, just say uh, if you want to keep it keep it and save it to your desktop or something so now you have these files uh, right here just let me get the DS DS4 okay this you have these files okay uh, first what you want to do is extract the your ds4 tools and you can um, delete the zip file so here it is first thing you want to do is go to virtual bus driver and run this program I already did it and be sure that when you run this file your controller is unplugged okay you the control must be unplugged so you run this and then you go here and click on scpserver.exe you click on run and it will detect your controller this is here controller one uh, if you're using the the beta version it will say battery and whatever percent you have and touchpad touchpad enable so if you want to change the options you go to options click enable touchpad and then uh, you can also like the rumbling like let's set it like this okay so the touchpad is uh, still on false because you need to, need to reset it now it is on true and uh, as you see you can use it to uh, to control the mouse and while you're controlling the mouse left click and left uh, bump left bumper I think no the yeah yeah the this bumper which is the left bumper uh, is your like left click I think yes is your left click and the right bumper is your right click so that's that's useful but I don't see you that using it that much so in here you can also change the LED light I'm just holding this up so you can see like if I want to change it to green I just go like this click on set and it changed to green uh, I just want to like now you can see I have rumbling which is awesome but I don't want I don't want it because it rumbles all the time and I don't really like that so now that you have this 
you'll go to your Xbox 360 CE app and uh, lift uh, like these two files that you downloaded and what um, like I recommend is you copy that this file and put it into this folder so when you copy all the things you'll have one folder you will you won't have to go like to one and to the another so if you want to play uh, games with your controller you'll need to copy these files you'll need to go to your computer um, and you need to find if you want ex let's say um, Dark Souls go here and you paste all the files um, in the folder that your .exe file of the game is located so for example if you have a game and you open the map of the game and it's like this you find the .exe folder and you paste the files there so let's say we do it for Dark Souls we paste it here I won't because I already have it um, then you click on this app x360c.exe you click on it you click on run it will say uh, this you click search automatically click on next it will and then with it's all done click finish it will say this warning but uh, this warning is not important uh, and the things will all work uh, just click ok now you see when I move the analog sticks the things like on the screen like light up which is really really which is really awesome um, and then you just click save and you exit it and that's that's all you have to do to play games now for minecraft which is a little different you need to download the file um, you need to go to the uh, to mind control website and you download this I don't know if you'll get it like this or this it doesn't matter it both works you click on it it will say Java 7 you click on accept on and run and it will say like the controller and Minecraft you can configure and now uh, to show you that it's uh, working in Minecraft uh, when it decides to load okay let's click on play all right so let's go to world so I'll just show you it works like see if I move this I move and like the things you can do all the things you want you can like drop you can go to your inventory and you can do m pretty much everything so um, yeah this is pretty much it for this video um, you know leave a like if you found this video helpful uh, subscribe for gaming videos and for more tutorials uh, be sure to leave a comment if you don't understand something I'll try to explain it to you and till next time, here is the epic high five. I'll see you later.